Hey, Pablo. Hey, Mr. Coin Dragon. Oh, I'm talking to people on the stream. Uh, ice cold water. The best. It's afternoon here. Hey, Silver Finder. Welcome. I got to do my blood real quick. By then, we have enough people coming in here, and we can <coughs> crack the box open. How are you all doing today? Les Wiley. I'm doing fine, man. My legs felt so good, I could have walked a mile. Bill Gibson, Sharp Dress Man. What's up, my friend? Scratch and go crazy. Hello. Fire Cajun. Hello. Welcome, each and every one of you. Having a great day here. Temperature is kind of hot and muggy. I hate humidity, but I'm sure Fire Cajun knows all about humidity down there. Hey, Misa, babe. How are you doing? Don't forget to hit the like, everybody. I'm very well. How about you? I'm doing well. I'm just doing my blood here. I'm a diabetic. So got to do my blood, take some insulin, and then eat something. And I got a hostess orange cupcake to eat which is totally against everything I'm supposed to be doing. Houston Outdoors, hey, I just saw you in there. How's it going? DMC, welcome, welcome, welcome. Man, we got 13 people in here. Once I eat my cupcake, we'll be good to go. I'm sure you all have heard about tomorrow's big you can cut that humidity with a knife. Yes. Ours isn't that bad. Hey, Michael Mullins. I'm sure each and every one of you knows about the big party tomorrow. Yeah, do you like these, Bill Gibson? Yum, yum. Hostess orange cupcakes. Brian Hooper. Man, I was running behind. I didn't call you, but thanks for finding me. It's raining here with the sun out. Yeah, that always happened. Yeah, well, just make sure you're here tomorrow for the 1K party, Les. So far, we're up to 16 awesome prizes because we got a... We got an awesome 2018 New Way Stormtrooper coin, courtesy of Silver Giveaway. So that pushes us up to 16. What's going on tomorrow? <laughs> Come on, Bill. I know you know the big 1K party. You all look at my video I just posted. It shows... Uh, 13 of the 16 prizes, because three of them just came in. Uh, I was promised a couple more, but I don't know if they're going to make it. Because my mail lady comes so late. So... If those coins don't make it, we'll give them away somehow. Pablo, we have a giveaway every day. Lake House Beach, what are you doing? Hey, John Oof, are you talking to me about the email?
So what's up with you, Lake House Beach? I haven't been seeing you around. Oh, okay. Well, you can keep trying to win, Pablo. No, my dear, the uh, hostess orange cupcakes. I'm not supposed to be eating them, but. <laughs> I do, David Carlisle. All you got to do is answer a few questions. <laughs> Funny, Tracy. It's a half dollar hunt. Yes, it is. I got to finish eating my cupcake. Hey, Mama Lou. How are you doing? Mama Lou donated an awesome prize for the giveaway. She sent a bunch of coins. Looks like a cupcake eating stream. Yeah, I could probably eat 10 of these. Hey, Miles W. Oh, I was going to say, Mama Lou donated prize number 15. So 1942 Walker, a 1937 Buffalo, and a 1986 Ellis Island commemorative. So that's just so awesome and sweet of hers. Mama Lou, your stickers are so popular. You may have to send me more if you want me to keep giving them out. Mr. Doughboy. Tomorrow, Mr. Doughboy will be the master of ceremonies. He will be asking the questions and he will be um, picking the winner with my help. I got an awesome prize package for him today. Except I missed the mailbox. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, I think I had three Mama Loon or four, and I only got one or two left. Looks like I only got one left. Everybody loves Mama Lou. Hey, Miles W. Hey, Misa Abed. Man, we got 22 people and 14 likes. Y'all can do better than that. You should be able to get the 20 before I even get this damn box open. Oh. Man, I had to hunt around for a box. This is the box I was supposed to pick up Saturday, so I probably won't have a box for Saturday. Oh, uh, no obvious enders on that end. None on this end. Oh, but they're sealed rolls. I don't see any marks on them either, so maybe we'll get lucky today. ha. <laughs> No, DMC. Hey, Silver Smokestacks. Make sure everybody comes to the party. Well, 
Well, while I'm here, I did a trade with Victoria Carter. She sent me this nice one ounce copper called an African Wildlife. I got two 40 percenters, four silver quarters, three Merc dimes that are hard to see, and four rosies, all silver. So if y'all ever want to trade with Krista Ward, she sends some good stuff back. In addition to the prize silver giveaway sent, they also sent for the pudding cup. We got six more ASE proofs. One tenth ounce. And then we got two four, and six 40% halves. But I can't remember because this was a the long delayed uh, me getting the, my return in. One of the things I sent her was a fake Morgan dollar that was slabbed. Linda, you made it again. Hello. Thank you. Tracy, right back at you, Ronnie G. Okay. Showed off that stuff. Got the prize for today already. Got the red book over here already. <clears throat> Find my knife. Here we go. <clears throat> Let's get this hunt started. Let's get the party started. Real parties tomorrow, Coin Dragon. Check out my video. Everybody should check out the prize video to try to figure out what you may want to win. Do you have rolls for sale? No, I'm not a, a selling channel. I just sit here and share the experience to open the rolls with everybody. Um, people seem to enjoy it. We get a lot of people in the chat. We have great discussion. We learn stuff. We laugh. <laughs> and we help each other's channel grow. So everybody... Putting you on quit ma mode so I can hear my music. Okay. Yeah, and sometimes you get to see Lily. Lily will best definitely be showing up at the party tomorrow. What do you mean, Les? How many that I've filled up and saved? Because right now I got 48 rolls. Houston Outdoors with the money bags. Show me the money. Come on, everyone. Let's hit that like button. Yeah, man, I wish I could play my metal music during the stream. When I first started streaming, I I did it 
one day and that night I got a copyright strike. Okay, I'm melting here. It's so hot. We are already at 95 degrees. Man, Ronnie, where are you at? You working? That's right. Les Wiley is the best damn insurance salesman in Houston and the surrounding area. So if you need any type of insurance, hit up Mr. Les and he will work you a deal. Oh, Mr. Doughboy's out of the 40s and 50s. Hey, Lothar. Yeah, I'm doing good. It's a semi-nice day, and uh, you know, my legs fit really, really good today for the first time in months. So that's got me in high spirits. And I always get all wound up at everything, doing the chat and stuff. Because I really enjoy it. I really enjoy the interaction with everybody. I enjoy the camaraderie, the joking. No, I'm here at home waiting for the pool to be clean. Have some pool guys getting it ready. Oh, man, 95 degrees. Those guys ought to get there quick. I'm looking for my damn phone and it's in my pocket. Hey, Nick Moner, how you doing? Yes, it is, Mr. Doughboy. I hope your internet works. Everybody, if y'all don't know Nick Molnar, check him out. He does videos. What he does is he goes to convenience stores. He's friends with the managers and stuff like that. And uh, they'll set aside their coins, and then Nick gets to go in there and search them. And, man, he finds some amazing stuff. Sub to him. Check out his videos. He'll definitely hit you back. He's up in Canada. But he finds a lot of U.S. coins, too. I'm so old. When I was a kid, rainbows were black and white. <laughs> That's a good one, Bill. HD Shovelhead, thank you for coming back into the stream. Try to make it tomorrow for the 1K party there, Ed. 25 Celsius here. That's 77 Fahrenheit in Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. Oh, Lothar 900's from Canada, too. I did not know that. Hey, we got DC Relax from Russia. Pablo's Kitchen from Italy. Well, I keep on looking to see if I'm subscribed all, oh, and I am. Yeah. I seriously enjoy chat channels such as these with good people and swapping coin wisdom with new finds. I have liked, subscribed, and actually glad this isn't a buy your own rolls and hunt. Well, thank you so much, Tracy. A lot of people really enjoy the fact that there's nothing for sale here. So I give a giveaway and you, you get an opportunity to win some very nice coins. Uh, the best thing you can do to improve your odds on my channel of winning is to get yourself an official red book. They look like this. Oops, that's the backside. I pull all the questions out of here. 
the official red book of United States coins. I got the 2018 edition. Hey, Gare, how are you doing? I'm so old. When I go to the bathroom, I use a feather duster. <laughs> Yeah, DC relaxes from Russia. Go check him out. I hate that bank. And I lost my area where my question was. Let me post it right up there. Yeah. Hopefully Pablo's going to turn into a, a Yeah, I want to get a 2021. I love those hunts, but I'm experienced a terrible headache. Do you like to answer coin question? I just got the 2002 red and the 2019 blue, probably the overkill. No, Tracy, the blue book and the uh, the red book are two different things. Hey, there's my man, Bigfoot, Silver Hide and Seeker. How are you doing? I can't thank you enough for my gift. And prize number... Uh, I believe prize number 14 is from Bigfoot Silver Hide and Seeker. He donated a full 1964 proof set with an original government packaging. So, man, you might see like one of these coins or something in a typical giveaway, but man, this channel is going to blow up and show the real meaning of what a 1,000 sub giveaway is supposed to be there. Right there now, they're on sale on Amazon. You buy the red, blue, and a jeweler's loop, which is actually no good, but the total price is $28. I wonder why the jeweler's loop's not any good, Tracy. I watched DC Rad a couple weeks ago. I don't know if they watched me or not. Yeah. Well, Pablo, maybe, maybe you can uh, take this and end up creating a new niche for yourself. Maybe you'll be the first big coin collector. I'm back with revenge. It takes the error to get through all your vids, David Carlisle. Hey, Mr. Bradley Height, Mr. S S Massive Silver Bar Pour him pour himself. Thank you for coming in. Bradley, make sure you come by tomorrow. I know you sent me something out. I imagine it's just stickers. But your stickers went really good. Hey, Bill, how you doing? Doing a half hunt live stream tonight. Make sure you leave a comment on our pre-steam video to win our giveaways. All right, coin hunting couple, I'll give it a shot. I plan on going to Silver Giveaways tonight at 7. They're having a 30-second auction, having a nice cold beer, 7.1% alcohol. Man, you're only going to need a few of those, Nick, to have a buzz. Yeah, so make sure you all check out. Boy, here's a nice 2012 uh, NIFC, but somebody wrote a B on it.
No, Susan Lee, Lily has not been good. I came home from doing the bat, the banks, and got my coins. And when I opened the door, it had a strange smell. So I get to my room and I look into the uh, bathroom. She took a crap on my bathroom floor that was so huge. You could never believe it came out of that little puppy. Man, it was nasty. Cleaning it up was nasty. It was no fun. She knew she'd done something wrong. <laughs> yeah, Brian, it was so gross, man. Ugh. Yes, Tracy, that's what she left me. That's all right. I got it all cleaned up. Used disinfectant. Sprayed it down with uh, air freshener and... The house smells pretty good, but at least she did it on the in the bathroom. It was on a tile floor, and the toilet was right there. So I just scooped up the bags and, or not the bags, the paper towels, and um, put them into, just put them on the toilet and flushed them. Hey, she could have done right where you get out of bed. She's not supposed to do it anywhere. Yeah, I don't know why. She went to a pool party again last night with my daughter. Her friend's parents are out of time, and she has a built-in pool, so her boyfriend's staying there with uh, his puppy, and Lily and that new puppy, they just go crazy over there. And then and then she heads into the pool. Well, I remember someone crapping on my stairs once. I don't think it was a dog. I think it was human. It took me a little while to clean it up. Yeah, I cleaned it up before I uh, came on. That was for damn sure. That's the first thing I did. I just dropped everything and damn. Dogs know. The only couple times my dog crapped in the house, she went in the bathroom as well. Wow, that is uh, strangely odd. But I tell you what, it made it a lot easier to clean it up. Tile floor and the toilet right there. Come on, let's hit that like button, people. We got 30 in here. We should be over 30 likes. Yesterday, we added... We had a total of 71 likes yesterday, which was totally incredible. We want our Toy Fox Terrier ate a whole candy dish of chocolate. We got home, diarrhea all over the house, and the dog was hiding. Oh, yeah. that This is what not what Lily did. She just made a load. Yeah, Lily's pretty smart. I'm glad I left my door open so she was able to get to it. Yeah, we found the bell again. We don't really know what's going on. Why it comes off. You know... We're going to wait to put it on again so that we can um, so we can kind of sit and watch what uh, what she does with the bell on. I don't know if it's hanging down too low and she doesn't like it or she doesn't like all the ding -a or she doesn't like the fat, fact when she goes to chase the squirrels, the bell's always ringing. Really don't know. Maybe she takes it off so she has a better chance. Yeah, that's what I was kind of thinking, but 
She'll never catch those squirrels. They're too quick. No, DMC. The continuation of the worst month I've ever had is right here. Yeah. Man, these stamps always get in the way. I can't see all the chat. There you go. Yeah, Coin Dragon, you got it right there, buddy. Our last cat we had, we have to take the poo out. We used to smell the house up. Even though it was in a kitty litter box. Everybody remember, hey, Rena, you can't hear me You're out and about. Just stop and play ho and leave some hugs for you. Ah, oh, that's so sweet. I watched your uh, Frankfurt food party video yesterday. That looked like it was a lot of fun. Y'all don't know Rena. She's from Germany. She used to have a coin, a nice German coin collection, and then it got lost. I sent her some uh, coins to hopefully get her uh, collection started again so she can start back and enjoying the fun. Whether she collects U.S. coins or German or Italian or whatever, I gave sent her a nice little pack. So if anybody else is interested in sending uh Miss Rena a package of coins, I'm sure she would totally appreciate it. Well, to send Arena, she's got an APO uh, box. So it's just you stamp that just like a regular uh, a regular envelope that you would send in the United States. Look at Lothar talking German. Yeah, Bigfoot. Check out Rena. Hey, Roadrunner. If he catches you, you're through. How's things going with you? Look at that. Everybody's talking to Rena in some different kind of language. I only speak English. Oh, what? You leaving ahead? You leaving ahead? Time to run. I see it. Yeah, that's going to be an awesome auction, I think. Did you watch the video with the coins? Yeah, there's some pretty nice stuff. I like the American Silver Eagle and the AU Morgans. That's right. Join me and HD Shovelhead Ed at Silver Giveaways auction tonight at 7 o'clock. It's a new type auction. They're thinking out of the box. Coin Dragon speaking something. Dodge any anvils lately. <laughs> For Roadrunner. <laughs> Got a couple of 
funnel web rounds that you're sending me, Coin Dragon. Unless you overnight it, it won't make it into the 1K giveaway. Lothar speaks German, English, and French. Wow, congratulations. That's that's quite an achievement. And I always will take a gift, Coin Dragon. Especially a spider, a funnel web spider. I don't have one of them, and I think they're very neat. Yeah, Paula Bloom was supposed to send me a package. I haven't seen that yet. Amber Parnell said she was sending something. I have not seen that yet. TLT Coin Hunters is having it tomorrow night at 7 o'clock. Yes, go check out Tim's auction. A lot of unique items in there. All right, we're at the halfway point. We ain't found nothing yet. Will we see Doughboy Do Skunk Coin again? Oh, you are, Nick? Wow, that's cool. I can't imagine what it will be. Coin Hunting Couple still here? I don't know. Put the at symbol, at the at symbol, and then C O, and it should tell you if they're here. But also putting a message like that, their name should be highlighted so they should see it. Yeah, man, so many people are sending me packages. If you send me some package and has coins in it, please include a note to let me know what to do with the coins. You know, if you're gifting me some, I need to know that. If you want them to go into the pudding cup for the regular giveaways, I need to know that. And then if it was a coin for the 1K celebration, I need to know that because any of them that come in after, I will... Uh, we will do a special giveaway for that. I paid that bank girl. You paid the wrong damn one. Hey, Matting, thank you for coming back in, my friend. Glad to see you. Hope the wife's doing well. Keep hitting that like, everybody. Put pudding in that cup. Now I'll just buy another pudding and eat it. The pudding cup is pretty damn full. Here's where we're at on the pudding cup, and there's another layer of coins below that. So we got plenty of stuff for giveaways. Brian Hooper and Dime Digger sent so many V-nickels, so there's going to be a V-nickel in every giveaway for probably at least the next two weeks. It was really wild. No, I haven't found silver in quite a while. Time for the Folgers plastic tubs. Man, those things are huge. It'll take me forever to find whatever the hell's in there. Tapioca. Yeah, boy, I love tapioca. Yeah, I don't even drink coffee, so I don't know how I'd get one of those cups. 
Anyway, the wife drinks one cup of co coffee a day, and she's got one of those Keurig things. So when she buys coffee, she just buys them in those little one cup things. I tell you what, I've been in a state of confusion for the past couple days. Things have been going 100 miles an hour. Oh, wow. What'd you find, Matting? Wow, that's awesome, Nick. Yeah, I've been watching your videos. I drink coffee like a crazy nut job. I make espresso, Zlotis, strong coffee, coffee pots. I go coffee crazy. Wow, Lothar. You like that high test stuff. Whoa! Man, that is awesome, Matting. And that was the first box you ever did? Nick Molnar has six cups a day. Wow, and that was your first box? You're hooked. You're hooked for life now. That is so awesome. Congratulations, Matting. That's absolutely incredible. Three pot a day. Man. Pablo, I live in the state of Maryland, which is right adjacent to... I got 12 to 15 cups. I start my day at 5 a.m. every day with coffee. Lake House Beach is still here. Lake House Beach. You live in Iowa. I hope you're still listening, Lake House Beach. You live in Iowa. And I don't know if you know the channel CJ's Coins and Crafts, but he has a 3D printer, and he likes to make inserts to go into these 2 by 2 plastic holders. And up on top, it has the state name, and then it has the outline of the state. He sent me five of them. I've been giving them all away. I found people that live in the, all the other states. Uh, if you want this coin, email me your address. I'll put my, uh, I'll put my, uh, email in here, Lake House, and you put, put, put in the, uh, title, uh, CJ's coin, CJ's Iowa quarter or something like that. And you can have it. And also, Lake House, have you gotten one of my channel stickers? This is Bill J version 2. You're welcome, Lake House. You've never... No, you haven't gotten a sticker? All right, I'll include a sticker in it. It says, Coin Roll Hunting Live Streams, Bill J version 2, B3P at AOL.com, collecting mail calls and shout outs. And then it's got an actual ender roll that I actually own. I keep a lot of these things. Yeah, I know you did, Lake House. It was awesome. I loved it. Hey, Matthew. 
Matthew, did you know you won a coin on uh, silver giveaways the other night? You're welcome, Lake House. You don't come in the stream that often, and what I'm trying to give away, there's never been another Iowa, somebody that lives in Iowa that says they wanted it. Yeah, Matthew. Um, email silver giveaways. <clears throat> I think they're silver giveaways at yahoo.com or you can go to one of their videos and find it. Yeah, go find it and email them your address to get your free coin. I still got 20 rolls left before the trivia, so you'll you got time to do that. Yeah, man, there's free stuff flying all over the place. And the email that I posted in, if anybody wants a channel sticker of mine that does not have one, and you live in the United States, just send me an email, call it sticker giveaway or something, and I'll gladly send you a sticker. These beer are going down too good tonight. <laughs> Well, don't drink too damn many. You're going to miss Silver Giveaway's auction. I've seen you in their coin roll hunts. I'm sure you'd like to be a part of that auction. Guess I've been super busy and only seem to make it to the night streams anymore. Work schedule got switched around. Oh, that's what happened. Well, hopefully you got time tomorrow because it's the big 1K celebration. Last Thursday, I hit over a 1,000 subs, and I'm still getting more. I think it was at 1,050. And they're still coming. Yeah, I don't have any money. And I'm going to bid it. What, is CJ in here? I didn't see CJ. Did I miss CJ? Yeah, I don't see him. Have extra money since I quit smoking. <laughs> No, I just posted the link to his channel. Oh, okay, okay. Thank you, Lake House. If you got time, watch the video entitled 1K Celebration Prizes to get an idea of what we got. We're probably going to be stuck with the 16 prizes. I don't think any, uh, unless my mail lady comes before the uh, thing. Hey, World Stalker. Thank you for dropping in, my friend. Man, I watched that video about your journey on Mozambique. Man, that would have scared the hell out of me. I don't know. You got to be pretty brave to be Amer an American in all those foreign countries you've been hanging out in. Yeah, I've been watching a lot of yours, World Stalker. Very interesting. Hey, Vakari Vi. Welcome to the stream, my friend. As per usual, I'm searching a box of U.S. half dollars, looking for silver coins, error coins, um, foreign coins, whatever pops up. 
proofs, but today we have not found anything. Sounds like my voice is getting ready to go out. Bill J, the capitalism the email can you use lowercase. Either one, Bill. It doesn't matter. I just like to type them in uppercase so they're a little better to see. <laughs> I don't get that. What time for what, Brian? For tomorrow? Uh, typical 1 to 2.30. I will definitely give you a call tomorrow before I go live. I don't want you to miss it. Yeah, 1 to 2.30, Brian. So hopefully that damn Jimmy will come to work so you can make him do the work and you can sit and have fun at the party. I just took a big drink, Pablo. I drank a ton of water. I drank a root beer yesterday and my damn blood went up to 289. Wow, that's awesome, Nick. Did you use Chantex? Yeah, that was my blood yesterday. I drank that damn soda. Yeah, I just got my prescription of Chantex in, so I will uh I'll be trying to join you in Lake House on the non-smokers end. Yeah. Yeah, I got uh some more bad news from my mother yesterday. She's decided not to pursue chemotherapy and she only wants to do radiation. So the radiologist said that he might be able to get her some quality of life through Christmas. But there was no guarantee. So if I don't come on some days, it may be because I'm doing something with my mother, taking her to uh, radiation or some other doctor's appointment. But hopefully, I'll try to work around that. Hey, trucking for silver. I'm having a great day, but this damn box is not. We ain't found nothing. I don't think I found anything in Jul June yet. Skunk, 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 skunk. The only silver I found in June so far... It's two war nickels and a 52D Rosie. Now that is really bad. Oh, my mother's so in poor. She doesn't even have anything. She owns a car. But she already paid for her funeral and all that stuff. I'm back. The mailman stopped by to drop off a package. Oh, that's cool, Bradley Height. Sorry to hear that, Bill. Just here to hit the light day high and get back to work. Thank you all tomorrow for the or talk to you all tomorrow for the giveaway. Yes, yeah, Silver Rapture, you better talk to your boss.
because I know you're going that you've been around enough that you should have an easy time witness something or winning something. Same with less. The people that have been here the longest are going to have the best chances at winning tomorrow. It's going to be a Bill J trivia. Oh, yeah. I do have a 17th prize. For all you heavy metal fans out there. Oh, man, trucking. That's horrible. Ugh. But for all the heavy metal fans, I just unearthed this. It's a Judas Priest screaming for vengeance sticker. It's kind of old. It's from 1983. Hey, Ray Man, what's up? So that's going to be given away, and I'm going to be requested that only people that like heavy metal will answer that. That one's going to go away via uh, Snapple Trivia. I figured any heavy metal will, uh, I mean, any heavy metal fan would love to have that for their wall. Bill J., I do not want to say much on your channel, but I want to make sure that you check out my newest video it is my first giveaway i want to make sure you get in it hey manning that's no problem uh when are you doing it i mean i can temporarily make you a mod so you can post the link and all that stuff just say the word and i'll take care of it i'm made of metal my circuits gleam i'm perpetual i keep the country clean Damn, Coin Dragon. I know one person is going to be trying for that for sure. And he lives in New York in the ninth floor. He also loves Black Sabbath as much as I do. <laughs> Let me some old school for you. All right, Coin Dragon. Well, tomorrow, that awesome... Man, that sticker was from 1983. So what does that make that? 26 years old? That's an awesome collectible. Man, I'm glad people are getting as excited for the Judas Priest sticker as I am. When I found that because I already got one put away with all my concert ticket stubs. So I think that's cool. And if I run across any more metal stuff, hell, I'll throw that into the giveaway too. We're going to give away stickers. So if you don't win a coin, there's going to be a chance for you to win a sticker. I got a whole book of stamps minus two. So, man, hopefully as many people as possible will be able to win something. The foreign bidders, you are limited to only win something that I can pack in my white envelopes. If it's something that's going to fit in the bubble mailer, I cannot afford to mail bubble mailers out to the foreign countries. So stuff like the 2013 proof set, which is obviously a bubble mailer set, that's only going to be uh, oh, awesome, Maddie. All right, well. I'll I'll try to remember to shout out for everybody to hit Matting Station or channel. I just bought a whole package of post-it notes and can't find a damn one. Well, maybe Brian Hooper and Les, since their mods can remind people of Matting's giveaway. 
because it's one of those like, comment, and subscribe. Those are the easiest ones to enter. And we got two, four, we got six rows left, and we'll be doing some trivia and giving away some nice coins. Rafe, did you see my comment on your video? I'm starving like a hostage. <laughs> Bradley, you cracked me up, my friend. Man, and I really loved <clears throat> all your Vegas stories. If I ever learn how to do one of them Google chat things, I want to have you here, and I want you to just, just entertain us with all your all your uh, Las Vegas stories, because they were so funny. And now some of them were seriously funny, but it was just in really interesting. Okay. Bill, if I win tomorrow while in school without buying and the two through purse isn't going, can I get it? Nick, once you win a trivia question, Once you win a trivia question, Nick, you, the next thing you do is you pick from the prizes that we have left. So like the first trivia question winner, they're going to have their pick of all 17 items. And then, you know, when we get down to like the 15th, like the 17th uh, winner, we'll get whatever's left over. But every trivia winner tomorrow will get to pick their own prize. So the earlier you win, the better your odds of getting what you actually want. But you should watch the video of all the prizes so you can have an idea uh, what you uh, what you want to win. Well, Michael Mullins, it might still be there. I can't guarantee it. That's just the way we're going to work. You know, and if you all could watch the video beforehand and find the, uh, find the stuff that you want to win so that we could move everything along. Because I'm hopefully we're still going to search a box. We're still going to have uh, regular giveaway trivia, and we're going to have a first timers trivia. So there's going to be all kinds of opportunities to win some. And everybody will be eligible to win, except for the one thing about. Uh, bubble mailers. International bidders cannot win anything that needs to be shipped in a bubble mailer. And you're only going to be eligible to win one coin prize and then one sticker prize. I will be able to show you video. I'm not going to try and win anything. Cost we may just no, Nick, try to win. And there's a lot of stuff that can go in a, a white envelope. I will mail the white envelopes internationally. But I'm not going to put this big ass 2013 proof set <laughs> in a white envelope and try to mail it with my little stamps. This is definitely a bubble mailer pack. So this will be USA only. But I mean, I got a proof, or not a proof, an AU um, peace dollar. It'll easily fit in a white envelope, and I'll pay the money to get it to Canada. I sent some to Italy the other day, and it was only $2.12. I sent something to Christian Coins in Germany, yeah, I know, Nick. That's why I can't let somebody internationally win that thing because it's it's going to be a beast to ship. Mm. 
So everybody, please come. Please watch the prize video. And it'll be just a typical start tomorrow of when I get my stuff done. And I spoke to the bank for tomorrow's box. They said they should have it. So I may be able to get it early. I've been coming on late. Hey, Italian Eddie, welcome to the stream, my friend. Thank you. Yes, Nick, I do have PayPal. It's the same as my email address. Houston Outdoors. Hold on, I got a telephone call. Hello? It's me. All right, y'all keep calling me, and I'm not really interested in any of that stuff. I do have the timeshare there, but I hate it, and uh, I don't want to participate in any kind of functions you have. So please quit calling me. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye. Well, I really don't even care, so no big deal. All right, bye. Nick, between 1 and 2.30, my typical start times. Well, that was it, buddies. Let me look in my mini box. Last roll. What did we get? Oh. We got a 1964 Kennedy skunk. Ah. Oh. Mr. Doughboy made this for me. I absolutely love it. It's beautiful. Except I'm showing it off too damn much. I'm going to bury that deep in the cup, Mr. Doughboy, so I don't have to see it for a couple of weeks. <laughs> oh, I'm just kidding. Matthew, did you get a hold of silver giveaways? I don't want you to lose out on getting your free coin. Sniff, sniff, ew. I should have smelled that. Well, I guess it, I probably could have smelled the skunk in the box if it, if it wasn't for the package Lily left for me. Oh, way to go, Matthew. Okay, Lake House. I'm not going to deal with it until I'm done with the stream. But I'll probably package it up for you. And thank you, CJ's Coins and Crafts, for the awesome giveaway items. I have successfully given them all away. To some very lucky people. I gave away a couple. That coin was supposed to bring you luck. I know, Mr. Doughboy. It was supposed to eliminate him. All right, Lake House, I think you'll really like it, especially if you've never seen one in person. Now, you know, Matthew, that you are, you're in Bill J. Jail. For either 10 days or 21 days. I can't remember when you won. But we got to do Bill J. Jail. The people aren't donating these, these coins <clears throat> to be given away to uh, the same two people every day. 
<clears throat> hey, Kel, Grace, stand by. Okay, so you, you won in June. Yeah, so you just got to hang low, Matthew. Just go to the other channels and win until you're eligible again win here. And everybody, if you have a red book, look for your red book. Getting ready to do the trivia question. First, I'll show you what you can win. Bill 457, the get out of free jail cards. There's David Lee and Susie. I didn't think you are going to make it today. I thought you are busy on your auction, but I've been promoting it all day, David Lee. And Matthew came in the stream, and I sent him over to your channel so he could find the day he won the free coin and send you an email. So took care of that for you. Last night on Silver Giveaways, man, it was awesome. At about 60 likes, I started pounding everybody to try to get them over 100. They've never been over 100 on the Wednesday short stream. And I'll be damned if before Silver Giveaways got off last night, after about 45 minutes for an hour, they had 105 likes. It was an epic historical event. I was proud to be part of it and all the other stations. It was amazing. 105 likes in less than an hour. You are the best, Susie Bill. <laughs> we sure got over 100 loves. Thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome, Susie. I just did a shout out for the coins earlier in the video that you sent for the pudding cup. I appreciate that. And then I showed the prize you donated for yesterday's uh, party. I hope you all, you and David Lee, have an easy day at work tomorrow and you can stop in and join in on the fun. And don't forget, tonight, David Lee and Susie of Silver Giveaways are having a brand new type of auction. You got to go there. They have some awesome coins up for uh, auction. And it's going to be a 30 second. You'll have 30 seconds to get your bid in. And the one with the highest bid will win the coin. And they got some beautiful AU Morgan dollars. They got all the Marvel people. Uh, they got pandas. They got uh, two ounce. Um... Hey, Ramon Juan, how are you doing? Thank you. Thank you. Hopefully you can come by tomorrow and stay a little bit and win a prize. That would be cool. Hey, Tim, what's up, my friend? Don't forget, TLT Coin Hunter has an auction Friday night at 7 o'clock. A lot of original items. But I was back to talking about Silver Giveaway's auction tonight. It's going to be an epic affair. Please go by there. Hopefully, uh, David Lee will post a link for tonight's free coin giveaway and the auction. And then tomorrow night, Silver Giveaway is on at 7 o'clock. And in addition to all the fun things that go on. All right. Congratulations, Tim. Woohoo. Big 7 0 0. But I was saying, Silver Giveaway is doing the regular stream, but they're also hosting a party for one of my favorite channels on YouTube. The lovely. Coin and card hobbyist Amanda Broderick. We posted a video of all the items for auction. Yeah, I watched that. Did Novus ever squeal like a pig? He probably squeals like a pig every day. But it's going to be an awesome event. Try to get over there. 
buy a couple rolls for Amanda, show her some love. The young lady's turning 21, her last milestone birthday. She'll be able to go to bars, and whatever else you can do when you turn 21. But that'll be tomorrow night at 7 p.m. on Silver Giveaways. It's the same time as TLT's auction, but you can all multi-stream. Oh, yeah, I plan on being there tonight and tomorrow. Drinking age, I made 19. I was able to drink beer at 18. Three and a more, Tim. You can get there quick. Yeah. There was a bunch of other people trying to get milestones. Quick name change your own. It was 19. Oh, wow. I did not know that, Nick. That's pretty interesting. If y'all don't know Nick Molnar, go check out his channel. He finds silver in a thinking out of the box way. He uh he coin roll hunts convenience stores. And the man finds a lot of nice coins. He found like an $80 quarter the other day from like the 1800s that was still and had a lot of nice detail still on there. So everything is just going, clicking on all cylinders. Let's try to get over 40 subs. We had 71 yesterday. Now we got 36. Who in the hell did that? I don't mind y'all leaving the negative ones. But when you mess around with the likes and it goes up and down, up and down, that, that's kind of... That's what screwed us up on David Lee's last night. We were at 100, then we're at 99, then it goes 98. Then it gets back up to 99 again. And then finally, it, it just blasted to 105. <clears throat> There's probably more on it now. But right now, I'm going to take the opportunity to show everybody what is on the giveaway menu today. From Frank Condi. We've got a 1954 SBU Lincoln Penny. It's a weedy. And it is beautiful. Damn. How can you not love a BU Penny? From me, the one and only Bill J. This very nice 1936 Buffalo. Still has some horns left. A lot of detail. It's a really nice coin. The date is way raised up on it. So it's a beautiful coin. Just a little dirty. And the next two come from Mr. Super Duper Brian Hooper. This one is a 1906 V-Nickel. For all you V-Nickel lovers which there are a lot of. And the next one from Brian Hooper, made in his own garage with his own personal coin press, the 1969D, 40% Kennedy half, that's A-U-B-U, -U, just beautiful. I'd love to win a pack like that. Hey, Blood X! Blood X! Reached a milestone last night on Silver Giveaways. He got to 3.9 thousand. It's Susie on Silver Giveaways today. I thought it was David Lee. Yeah. Susie got a really cool unicorn coin. I wish I had the money. I want to buy it for Mr. Doughboy. But I don't have any money. Is there instant 
Huh? I don't know. I don't think it's on right now. All right. We'll close some of the windows. All right, everybody, you got your red books around? My son's name is Bobby. I got three kids, Billy, Bobby, and Becky. Oh, there's David Lee. Oh, well, Susie can stay here. We got them both. Aren't we lucky? You don't need a unicorn coin? Well, why are you so into that unicorn on Susie's desk? Canadian Red Book ready. <laughs> oh, Nick. Try to find one. Try to find one from the U.S. This is going to be an easy question, everybody. Okay, let me check up on chat. I'm over her. She has eyes for the octopus. Oh. Wow. My unicorn, I love my octopus, but I love my unicorn more. <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh, I got to find my keyboard. Here we go. All right, got your red books ready. I got the question ready. We got the prize ready. Get whoever wins the prize gets to pick a sticker. So stand by. Here we go. This is an easy one, people. The U.S. hand sent the lowest denomination U.S. coin ever made was produced between 1793 and 1857. 
At which mint were these coins produced? You got to be quick today on this one. All right, we got a winner. Nope, it says right here. It talks about the coins and then it says all were minted at the Philadelphia Mint. So they never had any mint marks. They were all plain. And the first person that got that answer, Mr. Doughboy. Congratulations. The man who says he never would will win has won. I agree exactly with what you said there, Silver Giveaways. So, Mr. Doughboy, let me pull out these stickers so you can pick a sticker. Damn, I'm going to have to untape the package I already got ready to mail for you tomorrow, and I'm going to slide these in. Are you there, Doughboy? I hate trivia. It shows me first. I know, but I got to go, Bob. What's on my thing? Scratch and go crazy. But you did come in second. You got a lot to be proud of there. You're, uh, you're on. Brian Hooper confirmed Mr. Doughboy won. So it's. Mr. Doughboy. Well, I'll tell you what, Scratch and Go Crazy. As I go through these stickers for Mr. Doughboy, I'll let you pick out a sticker. And you can win a sticker. I'll mail that off for you tomorrow. How's that as a consolation? Congrats, my unicorn. All right, Mr. Doughboy. Here's the stickers. Hey, Bella Blends. I'm having a great day. We didn't find any silver coins, so that was disappointing. Okay, Mr. Doughboy, we got, and uh, what was it, Scratch and Go Crazy? Scratch and Go Crazy, I hope you're looking at these uh, stickers too. We got Tessa Cunningham's Sunrise with Tex Tessa. We got Mama Lou, who we all know and love. And then we got the one and only Silver Rapture. There's some awesome stickers. We got Shane Burton's Uncle and Nieces. It's an old Tennessee dollar bill with an American Indian stabbing a buffalo. Okay, Linda. Bye. Linda, if you'd like a channel sticker, just send me an email. We got Nova Stacker. We got the one and only Dime Digger. The Mysterious. Blood dripping John Oof coins with his $64 on the brick wall. We got SJ's Mixed Adventures Love Life. And then we've got Silver Giveaways, the Dream Catcher, I Dream of Silver, and David Lee's Panty Dropper Harley that says Silver Giveaways, get you some. And this was modeled after David Lee's uh, custom Harley Davidson. I will post a link to that. And Hey, Tim, how are you doing? I'll post a link to the panty droppers. And uh, oh. 
you all can go check out his bike. It is absolutely amazing. I'm back. Here's the link to the panty dropper. Go check this out. And while you're there, you can like, comment, and subscribe to Silver Giveaways. And look around for the video that says uh, Free Silver Giveaway. All right. Mr. Doughboy takes Mama Lou. Damn, I got them in and now they're gone. If you're still here, Mama Lou, I just gave away all of your stickers. They went away like crazy. Well, here you go. Here's the link to the panty droppers. And scratch and go crazy. Do you want a sticker as I offered to you? Where'd you go? Hey, Mike Wolf, how are you doing? Hey, Just Spitfire, how are you doing? You like the Tennessee one? All right, you got it. My email is going to be put in here. Uh, scratch and go crazy, send me an email, but in the text, put in there um, Tennessee sticker or something. I'm doing fine, just Spitfire. Make sure you come by tomorrow for the big party. All right, Mr. Doughboy, you can't win again for uh, 30 days. Yeah, scratch and go crazy. I don't like anybody to leave disappointed, but I can't just get coins away. Uh, Mr. Doughboy won it fair and square. You did have the correct answer. You are like third, but we want everybody leaving happy. What coin did they win? No, 21. We're trying 21 now, and if that, if Michael Mullins keep, continues to win, we'll have to change it again. These are all the Michael Mullins. Um. The Michael Mullins rules. Yeah, David Lee or Susie, I did a little shout out in the beginning. I'm trying to find them again. Yeah, the only thing I did different is I took the uh, one tenth ounce out of those plastic holders and put them in uh, cardboard sleeves because it's easier for, for me to mail. So here I got the six one tenth ounces. Got the six 40 percenters. But I was out of your coins until these came, and I already had the uh giveaway prize pack already picked. And hold on. While I show you, I can show everybody else. Prize number 16. Prize number 16, a 2018 Nui, $2. It's got the queen on the front. And on the back, the Stormtrooper from Star Wars. It's so shiny, it ain't showing up on my... Oh, there, there's a pretty good look at it. That was donated by Silver Giveaways. That is prize number 16. Yes, I got everything in time, David Lee and Susie. It's all going to work out fantastic. And uh, I can't remember if I posted my email. Yep, that's eligible for you to win.
Damn, I got everything falling all over the place. Now, tomorrow, I typically get everything mailed out the next day. But tomorrow, with 17 packages, uh, please give me time to get them in the mail. I'll be packing stuff all night tomorrow. So when I get the silver giveaway streams tomorrow night, I'll probably just be lurking a bit. So I'm going to try to get everything mailed by Sunday. If not Sunday or Saturday, if not Saturday, it'll definitely go out Monday. Where's my package? What do they say? It's in the mail. I sent it to Laura Blade. She said she's going to send it to you. That's what he said. Yeah, we all love Mr. Doughboy. If y'all have not subbed to Mr. Doughboy, he just cracked 700 and we need to get him to 1,000. He's got awesome content. We ship out every Thursdays. Take takes four hours to make the package. Oh, I bet, David Lee. Oh, no, Mr. Doughboy, your package is going to go out tomorrow. King and Queen Stacking, hey, thanks for dropping in, my friend. We went through the box and didn't find anything. We did the giveaway. And uh, Mr. Doughboy, Mr. Doobie won. I got this package already made for him. <laughs> so I'm going to have to cut this open, and you know I got enough tape to retape it up. <laughs> yeah, man, Mr. Doughboy is a great channel. A lot of interesting stuff. He's been doing live streams lately, man, and he is just... One cut up, man. He is just crazy. Who are you? Oh, you talking about Laura Blade? Much what? Yeah, I wondered why I haven't been getting any video notices from her for a while. She was an awesome channel. Very generous. Human Laminator. Yes, David Lee just put the announcement about the awesome auction tonight. It's it's not your regular YouTube coin auction. It's going to be pretty awesome. You got 30 seconds to put get in your bids and the highest bid wins. I'm sure Susie will have some kind of timer. And when Susie says over, that's all she wrote. So that means they probably have a separate video for tonight's free coin giveaway. Not your mama's auction. Hell no. Silver giveaways does every they think out of the box, just like they like everybody else. I might do a live Black Sabbath coin cutting. Oh Black Sabbath. That better be being made for me, Mr. Doughboy, or I will be really pissed. <laughs> you know that's my favorite band. And you one collect railroad spikes. I got you covered. Wow, just Spitfire. Yeah, if everybody somebody was asking for my PayPal address, it's the same as my email. And anybody wants a sticker, just send me an email and put in there sticker trade. The Pope or what the hell with the Pope? Nick Molnar thinking of doing pay dirt videos. 
Yeah, I'm not a fan of them. I think they're all seated with what they already, that there's no chances of getting anything different. That's what you got for detecting next to a railroad. That makes so much sense, just Spitfire. There you go. Here's the enter video for the free coin. So make sure you follow the directions on at the end of this link. And they'll get you entered for the free silver coin. They give away each year 365 silver coins. At that's that's a tremendous amount. If you step to some sort of custom, surely. Oh, if you try to mail them. Hey CJ, what's up, my friend? I just gave away your Iowa quarter. Lake House Beach won it. Hey, Amber, how are you doing? Thank you for dropping in. Amber, you said you were mailing something for my giveaway. I was just wondering if you, you mailed it. Because the giveaway party is all tomorrow. Make sure you come by here and you try to win some beautiful coins. Wow, what are you doing here? I love it. Oh. All right, I'll get ready to end it here in a little bit. I'm doing okay. We got skunked on the box, but we had a great giveaway. And right now we're just updating everybody on what's happening tonight. So Amber, if you scroll up, there's a link to Silver Giveaways posted. I have not mailed it. I'm getting ready to move, actually. I might have to wait for the next one. Oh, that might be a couple years. Because I don't know how long it takes to do to get the 2000. But that's okay. The thought was there. I appreciate it. Oh, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. If you scroll up in the link, Silver Giveaways posted a link where you can enter to win a free silver coin. Now, who can't use a silver coin? And then tonight, Silver Giveaways is having a really awesome, uh, I love the smell of a good skunk. <laughs> yeah, wait a minute, what I was saying, Silver Giveaways tonight is having a Not Your Mama's auction. It's going to be different. They think out of the box. They're gonna, they got some nice coins. Watch the video showing all the coins. And uh, be prepared to bid on them because once they show the coin, you got 30 seconds to get your bid in, and the highest bidder wins. Susie's going to cut it off right at 30 seconds, and uh, you'll be the proud new owner of whatever coin you want. Now, you will have to pay via PayPal friends and family prior to the auction's end or at the auction's end to guarantee your coin. Oh, I can't believe that just Spitfire. Amber, can you hit the like? CJ, hit the like. Let's try to get the 50 likes. The wife got home, so we're going to have to, or I'm going to have to get off here so I can visit with her a little bit. Thank you, everybody that came in here. Uh, it was a very fun stream. All the new channels that keep coming by, everybody try to hit them up and subscribe and become friends. Uh, the next two day, three days are big for silver giveaways. 
So you keep 7 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Set it on your uh, phone so it goes off because that means Silver Giveaways is live. And if it's not going to be the auction, then they got great coin roll hunts. Tomorrow night, 7 o'clock, is the coin roll hunt. Okay, Nick. I'll look out for it. Uh, yeah, tomorrow night, Silver Giveaways is their uh, Friday night coin roll hunt. But they'll also be celebrating the birthday of coin and card hobbyist, Amanda Broderick. She's big and well-known in the community. Uh, she helps mod. She can do auctions. She does everything. Hey, Jeff Concrete, how you doing, man? Hit me a like, and let's get over 50 likes before I sign off. Uh, make sure you come here tomorrow, everybody. And watch my video that shows all the giveaway prizes. It's going to be a fun stream tomorrow. Lots of giveaways. Lots of quality stuff. You've got to show up. It's going to be lots of fun. Hi, Bill. Bye, Bill. <laughs> no PO8. I, I don't know what the hell that meant, Bill 457. You post some weird stuff. I'm doing okay. It's It'll be tomorrow, Jeff, between 1 and 2.30 Eastern Standard Time. After I get done running the boxes and doing my blood and getting the coins. Thank you, everybody. Hey, TLT Candles. How are you doing, Tabby? Hopefully you can come back tomorrow. I'm getting ready to end the stream. Maybe you can get me a like, get me over 50. Congratulations on Tim getting to 700. Tomorrow's the big party. So come by tomorrow. It'll be the same as the day, but giveaways left and right. Anyone know why Why are there steps leading to nowhere in an old dirt cellar home since 1890? Are they wood-built steps, or are they dug out of uh, the dirt? Because it could have been for one of them Dorothy doors for tornadoes. All right, Jeff. I am. I hope to see you. Who's your hillbilly? Hey, man. Tomorrow is the big giveaway, Hoosier. Hopefully it'll rain tomorrow so you can come in here and win yourself some nice coins. Check out my video announcing the prizes. Three going down and then a wall. That sounds like somebody screwed up. Who's or uh, tomorrow? It'll be between one to two thirty Eastern Standard Time. Whenever I go on, I'm not going to start doing anything till we get like twenty or twenty five people in the chat, which shouldn't take no time. But I'm going to do a regular box search. After I search five rolls, we're going to do a giveaway. We'll go through the next five rolls, another giveaway. When you, if you're the first to answer that trivia question, then you get to pick a prize out of what I got. That's why it's important to watch the prize video. Yeah, because you're probably going to want the prize video like pulled up in a sister screen so that when you won your trivia question, you'll be able to say, I want number one. I want number 12. Because the first winners, the first winners get the first pick. And uh, so try to get here as quick as you can. Because it's going to be awesome. It'll be, it's. SJ, how are you doing? I've missed you so much. Thank you for coming back into the stream.
please come here tomorrow, SJ, and try to win something. I'm glad to hear you're good. Yes, you're looking fantastic today, SJ. I just wanted to tell you that. But please try to make it here tomorrow, SJ. Between 1 and 2.30, the big trivia party is going to start, the 1K. Got 16 awesome prizes. And uh, it's going to be fun. Fun, fun, fun. I'm getting ready to sign off here. Been here almost two hours. The wife got home. We got to take Lily to the dog park. And uh, so I don't mean to be cutting you short, SJ. But I've been on almost two hours. So do your best to make it. That would mean a lot. And if you can drag Amanda with you, that would be even better. I know she works, but she'll have to find some time to come in here. At Silvergate's work from three to nine, but I will sneak in if I get a chance. I was out running errands. You mean errands? I got it. I know you've been busy. Yeah, Jeff Concrete. It's going to be a different type of auction. Oh, that's awesome, SJ. Well, maybe you can sleep in, wake up, grab you a monster, a cigarette, and join in the fun. That's okay. You can still take a break and have a monster and a cigarette while you're on my stream. <laughs> that's how I miss. That's how I met you. I kept seeing all this SJ Mix Adventures videos, and I said, man, I'm going to go check her out. And then you were live streaming, and you were sitting on the back porch. You just woke up. You just cracked open a, a, a monster. You lit up your cigarette, and then the chat went on. Okay, Les. Thank you. Anybody sees Joe Durbin, tell Joe Durbin to be sure to stop by. All right, well, I'm going to sign off, everybody. And uh, <laughs> monsters are bad. Those contribute to my heart failure. Well, yeah, well, SJ's been drinking them for years, and she don't have any problems. She can drink them and go to bed which is amazing. All right, everybody. Brian Hooper, Silver Giveaways, SJ, Con Jeff Concrete, Bill 457, Victoria, Just Spitfire. Thank you all for coming in. Thank you for getting me over 50. And we will see you all tomorrow. All right. Bye, Nick. Bye, Who's Your Hillbilly. Sorry it was short. Hope to see you tomorrow. Okay, Silver Giveaways, I'll see you later tonight. I don't have much money, but I'm going to try to win a coin. Okay, bye, everyone.